Hello there YouTube and welcome to this cooking video. I know I am back once again with another cooking video and hopefully this video will go perfect. That's what I'm hoping, you know. I mean, oh, who knows. Anyway, today in this video I am going to be cooking some pancakes. That's right, get ready for this guys. This could either go horribly right or horribly wrong. I'm hoping it goes horribly right. Um, so, in, now, first things first. It's not just me that's cooking pancakes because I am also currently on video chat at the time recording this with Kyra. She's also going to be doing some pancakes with me as well. So... But however, I'm using oat milk. She's going to be using oat milk for her pancakes. And you're not going to be using eggs neither, are you? No eggs. No eggs. No eggs neither. So, what you need, I'll go through the ingredients very quickly, very easy. You need a jug, which has got obviously the measurements on the jug. Um, then you're going to need, now you can either use plain flour, but if you want your... Uh, if you want your pancakes to be a little bit more fluffier, which is what I'm going to be doing today, then you're going to need some self-raising flour. You're also going to need two large eggs, but alternatively though, like Kyra's doing, because she hasn't got any eggs, she's not going to do any eggs with hers. Um, I'm going to make pancakes without eggs. What's that? You're going to make pancakes without eggs? Yeah, you can still do it without eggs. You don't need eggs. Yeah. Yeah. So, eggs are optional. You're also going to need some milk as well. Depending what milk you want to use, you can either use semi-skimmed, whole milk, you know, skimmed milk. You can use oat milk if you want. I was just about to say oat milk. Uh, you know, soya milk maybe, or coconut milk. Whatever floats your boat. Whatever milk you want to use. For goodness sake, you can even use long life milk for all I care. Use that. Long life milk, just use that. Um, and then you're also going to need a tablespoon. Now the reason why you're going to need a tablespoon is because you're going to obviously add a tablespoon of olive oil into your pancake mix. So, here's how we're going to do it, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lower the camera down so that you guys can see exactly what's going on on show. So, here's my jug. Meet my jug. This is something I never thought I would ever say to you guys, is that I'm showing you my jug. But there we go. Um, so, we need a mil uh, milliliters, which is that side there. And what we're going to do, I'm just going to, so I can see it actually, is we're just going to put some 100 mils of self-raising flour into the jug. Hopefully, it doesn't go everywhere. And that's actually roughly around three tablespoons. Three tablespoons? Yeah, because I'm using a spoon to dig it out. Whereas, unlike, unlike me... <laughs> you such a mess. <laughs> I've, made, I've made a little bit of mess. Um, is that roughly... Hang on, one sec. I've, Put a bit too much in. How much is that? No, a little bit, a little bit less. Is that roughly it. <laughs> Nearly. Nearly. That's it. There we go. So that there is a hundred milliliters of um of uh, of flour, self raising flour, and like I say. You can either use self-raising flour if you want them to be fluffy or you could alternatively use um, some uh, plain flour if you want them to be less fluffy, I guess you could say. So the next thing you're going to need to do is if you want to, if it's like I say, it's an option, you can add some eggs. Now I have got some eggs, so I'm going to add two eggs. Now... Obviously, you need large eggs, so these are very large eggs, look, right here. So, all you're going to do, very simple, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to use a knife, and I'm just going to... I'm 
I've got a bit of yolk in a uh, bit of uh, egg show in there. Yeah. There we are. That's one. That's one egg. And then you need one more egg. So you need two eggs. Two eggs. There we are. Two eggs. Two eggs in there. Then you then need your 300 ml of of milk. And like I say, again, so we're going to go up to 400 ml pretty much on the jug. 500. Oh, I'm putting mine in a bowl. Oh yeah. Yeah. Right. So you've got your eggs, you got your milk, you got your your flour in there as well. Um, so what you then need to do is you then need to get a whisk. Okay. Now, what's that? Oh yeah, you need an olive oil as well. Bit of olive oil in there. I forgot the olive oil. Luckily I'm on video call to you because otherwise I would have totally forgot about the olive oil even though it's right in front of me. So, yeah, so what you need to do is you also need to add some a tablespoon of olive oil. So a nice big spoon of olive oil, just literally. There we go. And that's in there like that. Okay. There we go, and now, oh, I've got a bit oily on my fingers. Okay, now what you need to do is you need to get the whisk. Let me shut these eggs up. Okay, and you literally just whisk it until it becomes a nice smooth batter. Now you've just said oh no. Now why have you just said oh no, Kyra? Oh uh, right. Nothing bad, don't worry guys. <laughs> Nothing bad. Now obviously this is all mixing together nicely. As you can see, and it's actually starting to become this really nice thick batter. Nice thick batter. Now ideally, this does serve around about six, six pancakes. You can make six pancakes out of this, which I know does seem a lot, but it depends how many pancakes you want really. I guess, you know, if you want less pancakes, then put less quantity, uh, quantity of milk and, and flour in, into your jug. But if you do want around about six pancakes, then whatever floats your boat. Right. I'm gonna say that is a nice batter. It's all mixed together with the milk, with the egg, with the with the olive oil and the flour. It's all mixed in nicely. And actually my arm is actually starting to hurt now after doing that. So, what are you gonna do? What's that? Looks good. Looks good. So the next thing that you are then going to need to do, now you can either, apparently from what I've been reading, you can set it aside for 30 minutes to rest, 
but if not, you can start cooking it straight away. Now, I don't have the time in this video to rest it for 30 minutes and talk to you guys for half an hour. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to now switch on my oven, uh, well not oven, my hobs, switch them on, get them on a medium heat. <laughs> um, and then what you are then going to do is, uh, according to this, you now need to carefully wipe it with some oiled kitchen paper, the, the, the pan, the frying pan that you're going to use. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some, just a little, one sheet, one sheet does plenty, put a tiny bit of olive oil on it. Little dose. Ooh, that might be a bit too much. And then literally all I'm gonna do is just wipe wipe the pan down with some oil, bit of olive oil. Like that. So it's nice, got a nice bit of grease to it. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn you guys that way so you can see what's going on here. Switch this on and stick it on a medium heat. So I'm going to say around about maybe six. That's a medium heat. It's not high, it's medium. And obviously now that's going to start to kind of heat up a little bit. Now you can kind of get rid of all of your contents that you now no longer need. So your eggs your milk and all of that, you can now get rid of that, okay? So obviously we have got my batter right here still. That's in there nicely. That's gonna start getting, what's that? Making so much noise. Making so much noise. Kyra's uh, just uh, sorting some things out there. Um, but yeah, so obviously now that's gonna start heating up. It is actually starting to get nice and warm already, so that's, heating through nicely. Now also what I'm going to do in this video, now this could be your choice to be honest, I picked up some Clark's Original Maple Syrup. So once I've done the pancakes, I am then going to then do something a little different with these pancakes because I've got some bacon as well. So I'm literally going to do the full whack here. I'm going to cook up some pancakes, uh, of course. I mean, I'm really looking forward to cooking these pancakes, to be honest. Not gonna lie. <sighs> so apparently now, what we need to do is once the pan, uh, once the uh, the thing is uh, the the pan is hot, we then need to then pour the batter into the into the into the into the frying pan. So my, mine is really hot, I can feel it's really hot, so I'm going to pour this into uh, the, the, the hob now. Uh, but also what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a spatula, grab the spatula because you need to turn them after one minute uh, until they're golden. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Okay, so I'm literally just going to pour some of this onto here like that and then what that's going to do hopefully he says i'll zoom you guys in so you can see exactly what's going on you're just snapchatting everyone your pancakes yeah oh this looks good already yeah, my mine's starting to bubble. Mine is looking exactly like yours right now. Okay, this might make three, depending. Cause I, I was full so pan, but I just put like a load of it in it. Well, well. It's gonna do the job. I'm, sure. I'm just gonna turn it up to seven, just so we can get it proper going. Okay, so as you can see, it is starting to bubble through. 
a little bit, which is good. It's still looking a little bit battery. Yeah. <laughs> Kyra's literally doing a dance right now on video call. Just going, oh, it smells good. <laughs> Put the camera on you so you can do your dance. Let me let me just switch you guys over to the video call so that Kyra. Look, okay, camera's on you. <laughs> there we go. Right. What's that? Yeah, the only content that you guys can have from Kyra in this video <laughs> is her dancing. Okay. Let me just because I can't see the camera otherwise. There we go. Right. So it is starting to become. Nice and golden. So what you're then gonna do? Oh no, I think this one's a bit. Oh. No, I can't. No. There we go. So. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, for my. I don't know how much of that you guys caught from that part, but basically I have uh, moved one onto that plate there. I do apologise, obviously my camera decides to, obviously, um, it cuts off after 16 minutes. But basically we're doing the same process as what we did with the last pancake. Um, but of course this one is already starting to turn a bit golden. Say that again. <laughs> oh no! Alright, the, ne the next one will be better. I mean, to be honest, I'll show you my. Let me show you my one very quick, right? This is my one. Yeah, you don't have egg in yours. <laughs> there we go. Just try and keep you. <laughs> Try and keep you guys away from the uh, from the heat. Okay, well that's still that's still obviously trying to cook the um, trying to cook through the batter a little bit. We'll just wait for a little bit longer. The second one better be better. The second one better be better. Yeah. I mean these are massive pancakes that I'm making, but then. Then again, I've got a massive um, frying pan to do them in. So, I have got a much smaller frying pan, which really I should have maybe done. But then, I think I would have had more pancakes than I do right now. So, well, I probably will end up having them. Right. Okay. And again, you just literally grab your spatula, turn it. Oh, look at this! Oh, my goodness! Oh! That's the... Proper pancake, guys! Woo -hoo -hoo. That's a proper American pancake! I mean, this one here looks anemic, but I mean, this one here... Oh, my days! And then... What you do? Very simple. You stick it on there. Do a layer of syrup and then put the next one on top. Yeah. There we are. I'll probably have one more pancake to do after this one. Yeah, Eli's about making it six. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, Eli's about making six. I mean, I've made three so far. This is my third one that I'm making now. So. It does depend, really. Obviously, I think if you've got a, you've got a smaller frying pan to do it in, then obviously, yeah, you probably will get away with making six. But if you've got like a, a big frying pan, which is what I'm using for this, then obviously you're going to be making around about three, maybe four, depending. 
on. It also depends how much of the batter mix you use for each pancake as well. Ooh, this one looks promising. That one looks promising. Let me show you my uh, your dancing again. Let me show you my second. That's my second one. Ooh, it looks nice and golden. It does. That's what I mean. I was like, that is a proper pancake right there. Oh, this one smells good. Oh, this one, yeah, this one smells good too. Oh. I mean, honestly, this is this is amazing. This really is. I'm loving this. If you ever live with me, this would be me cooking every day, I would Wait, what's that? If you live with me, if you live with me, this would be me every day cooking, I'd be like... I'd probably join in dancing with you, to be honest. I'll be doing the cooking dance with you. <laughs> oh, sweet cherry pie. Look how beautiful that one looks. Oh, yes, that one does look really beautiful. Oh man, this is amazing, honestly. I mean, to be honest, you can do pancakes for lunch, you can do pancakes for supper, you can do pancakes in the morning as well. A lot of Americans do pancakes in the morning. Um, you know, it... What's that? 1am in the morning. Yeah, you can do pancakes any time of the day. Right, this one at the moment has become more, but it's still like got more batter mix than than it is golden at the minute. But that's okay. We can flip it in a minute. Right, I'll flip it. Okay. I've Oh my goodness. Basically, my pancake just broke into millions of pieces. Yeah. One sec. I may have to switch this off. No, I don't know. Oh. One sec. Did you hear that? That was beautiful. I heard that, yeah. Oh my goodness. Right, well that one that one isn't the best. I mean, it's still going to be edible. <laughs> I'm spamming everyone on my Snapchat about my pancakes. <laughs> I can't believe that happened. Oh my goodness. Oh, you wait until you see that on video, Kyra. Honestly, I've actually just filmed me failing at flipping this pancake over. Right. Yeah, it's always the first one for me that messes up. Yeah. Right, I'm going to try again with this last one. Right, this is going to be the last pancake. Which ain't going to be... Ooh, I don't know. It's not going to be a lot, to be honest. But there we go. It sounds so confident. <laughs> I sounded so confident. Yeah. 
I mean, <laughs> look at the my, this is my plate of pancakes so far, look at that. No, you've burnt that one. I know, I've, yeah, near, pretty much burnt that one to a crisp. I'm just going to show, look at that guys, look at that pancake right there, I burnt it, I cannot believe that. Oh, this cooking video was going so well. Honestly, this is now edge of your seat stuff, guys. This actually is. I get overwhelmed so easily. My anxiety creeps up inside of me when I watch these cooking. <laughs> That's going to be the new theme tune, guys, to Steve's cooking. I get overwhelmed so easily, my anxiety starts creeping inside of me when I watch Steve's cooking. Oh. Right, this one will be a lot better. I mean, to be honest, the butter has actually formed. And this one's just broke as well. Oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> Oh, it's fine. It's still edible. Still edible. <laughs> oh, man, I wish you caught that flip on your camera. I'm just flipping dough. You just flip your pancakes? Well, yeah, not in your I mean with the spatula. Oh, with the spatula. Well, I'm doing it with the spatula too, but every time I seem to do it... Look at this one. This one looks better. This is like the last one. Oh. That does look a lot better. Right, there we go. <laughs> so, that is my pancakes done. <laughs> that is my pancakes, guys. <laughs> oh, my goodness. But it's not all over yet, no, because I'm going to do a couple of slices of bacon with it as well. I'm going to do the full work, the full whack. So, what I'm going to do is just put a bit of olive oil into the frying pan again. I'll turn the camera back round so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing here. Uh, of course, just give it a little bit of a floaty floaty. And then I'm just going to put two bacon rashers. Let's do two bacon rashers. That's the first one. That's the second one. We need to do the full whack if it's going to be an American pancake. It's not, yeah, you are baking, just not with eggs. No, I'm not bacon. Oh, bacon. Oh. And then obviously while that bacon is cooking, obviously I've just washed my hands because I've just touched some raw meat. But then I can then safely put back into the fridge. And then I'm just going to grab this. There we go. Like that. Leave it on its side uh, for another minute. She's now going to do a TikTok. Okay. So you guys have got a clear idea now of what I'm doing. Okay, so all I'm going to do, one on there, one on there, like that. Okay, that's all done. And then what you're then going to do is literally make sure that's obviously that the maple syrup lid thing is completely off. Because otherwise you're going to be here forever trying to... 
trying to squeeze the bottle. I mean, so far, I mean, it's not looking too bad, is it, really? I mean, a couple of them have burnt, admittedly. But, you know, for a, for a first attempt, One sec, let me That's better. That's better. I was struggling to get the lid off. I just used a knife. Not a kitchen knife, don't worry guys. My mum's gonna be hurt, come home and be like, what the hell have you been cooking? <laughs> And there we go. Put some maple syrup on it, which is what I've done. Or you could use golden syrup if you want to use golden syrup. And there we go. That is basically how to do pancakes. Oh. I am very pleased with what I've achieved. Right, let me show you, right, I'm going to show you Kyra how mine look, this is how mine look. Yeah, that's alright, mine looks like that. And then what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to again turn the camera around so that Kyra is on video call. Uh, and she's going to, she's going to show you what hers look like. So what does yours look like? Here we go. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That does look pretty dope. Pretty dope. <laughs> anyway, back to me. What's that? Comment down below who won. Who made the best pancakes? Yeah, yeah, who made the best pancakes out of me or Kyra? Please let me know in the comment section down below, okay? I want your opinions on this, guys. Please do let me know. Anyway, that's all from today's YouTube video. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this cooking video as much as I enjoyed making it and failing at it a little bit. Um, but please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button if you've not yet given me a thumbs up and you did enjoy this video. And don't forget, leave a comment down below. Let me know who you think won, me or Kyra. Of course, she's going to read my comments. I'll read my comments to be interested to see which one of us won out of us two making pancakes. And if you are new to my YouTube channel or, or are a recent YouTube viewer and you've not yet hit the subscribe button, then hit the subscribe button down below. That would be very much appreciated. But that's all from me and Kyra. It's goodbye. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next YouTube video.